Good morning. Uh, welcome back to Building a House from Trees. To all the new subscribers and viewers, uh, you're watching me. Uh, you're watching the process of me build a house, a timber frame house from the trees that I've harvested off the land here in Maine. Um, milled myself and with the help of various other people. Had a lot of help through this whole process. It may seem like it's all on, but it is by no means all on. So don't be fooled. It's uh, it's, just, it's largely, but uh, not certainly not all on. I've had a lot of help from a lot of friends. So um, this week is another video where I am processing trees from tree to lumber. Uh, in this case, two by fours. And this case, in this video, I do it all in one day. And so it's, uh, it's kind of a, it's not real time by any stretch of the imagination. It'd be a very long and very boring video, but um, we've got some time lapses and everything in here. So I hope you enjoy. It's just kind of, it's the process of building a house from trees, you know. So uh, I, two, two things I want to mention, two channels. Uh, there's, a, there's a channel, I've mentioned it before on this channel. Um, most of you probably know about it, but if not, go check it out. Uh, it's the Essential Craftsman channel. They're building a house over there on the other side of the country. Um, I think Oregon, Washington. I haven't paid too close attention. <laughs> about the exact location but it's a it's a show it's a show on youtube that i watch weekly because they are professionals uh scott the guy running the show that you know they're building a spec house and he's got a lifetime a career of uh carpentry and building and if you're interested in tips and tricks and how to properly build a house, uh, that's a great channel. I watch it, I'm picking up a lot of stuff. There's, he, he also doesn't pull punches. He shows when they make mistakes or whatever, um, but you know how to frame stairs, what they're doing. It's a way more complex house than this box that I'm building. Uh, so it's, it's very interesting. There's a lot of really good tips. Make sure you check it out. And secondly, uh, if you're into fish and carving, They've got a video uh, that my friend recently put out and uh, you can take a look at it. Um, I'll put the link in the description here. It, it's, it's outrageous, the, the kind of carving he can do and uh, it's, it's a slow process and he made a video of it. So if you're into that, check it out. Like I said, the link is in the description below. Uh, thank you for watching this morning. Thank you for all the new subscribers. It's, uh, it's really heartwarming and I hope you enjoy this week's episode. Oh, and next week, Big, big episode. Uh, you'll see basement stairs get framed and a giant window go in in the front of the house. Uh, I'm specifically not showing you the front of the house right now because that's where it is and it looks great. So next week it's going to be a big one, but this week's going to be a good one too. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you around. to take this rig right here, put these chaps on, get these saws gassed up, and uh, probably drop two more pine trees, um, afternoon light, and uh, it's time that I start milling up some two by fours, some more two by fours for, uh, for interior walls. It's crazy, huh? I got a decent stack of two by sixes out there, which you can't really see, but you've seen in previous videos, no doubt. Um, and now it's time to start thinking about the inside. It's crazy, progression.
You'll see once it's on the ground, but this is a pretty ugly tree. Uh, but I'll get to it by one time. Well, once again, according to plan, which, you know, that's, that's the goal. That's always the goal. That thing's ugly too. There's some two bars in there. Nothing to Let's walk this bad boy out of here. See what we can do. I'm confident walking out in the line of falling because it's leaning quite the other way and I'm gonna really need to pull it down to the cable. So I have no concern of it coming this way. But I, I look back, beware the following sea. One. God, it smells good. <clears throat> the needles. Well, a well laid plan executed. Oh, now the hard part. <laughs> I guess we'll start here. That top right there is going to the burn pile.
Building a house from trees. <laughs> All right. So we got a good pile of logs once again. I, uh, I make the pile of logs disappear and then it just magically reappears. So that's a really good log. Um, there's some really nice long ones here. I can get a bunch of longer uh, two by fours for the inside upstairs and to frame in the walls. Yeah, and just a, a bunch more uh, two by fours, maybe some two by threes, some of the narrower walls. Um, but looking good, good pile of logs. Uh, once again, very lucky to have this situation and uh, able to just kind of thin out some ugly, crooked trees and get some lumber out of them. I mean, I'm not going to do much with that corner up there, but uh, I'll be able to nip that off and get something good out of this. So. Probably get to melon this afternoon. Now for breakfast. Overhang is working perfectly. The shadow is only at the very top of the face. Full sun. That is nice. Over this winter and uh, these different time lapses that I've been doing, I've really come to appreciate the, I guess, the, the relative nature of uh, us, of where we are and how small and insignificant we are. We, and me, uh, I mean, look at this, we're, we're just, we're in this little ball and the sky is just blowing past and, you know, you don't really get a chance to notice it unless you watch it, you know, sped up or slowed down and all these different things that are just hiding in front of us. And yeah, it's, you know, it's funny. I, uh, I enjoy sawmilling. Um, I enjoy sawmilling because it's, it's a lot of time that I get to, um, I, I have to, I have to think here and there, you know, and pay attention when I'm measuring and pay attention obviously all the time, but it's, it's a lot of time where I get to just kind of think and process things and be quiet. I, I, you know, because of my brain, I am absolutely unable to listen to music or podcast or anything while I'm working, doing this kind of work. While I'm bush hogging or weed whacking or, you know, painting, something like that, I can listen to music or podcast, mostly podcasts. But uh, when it's this kind of work, I, I have to, I have to be 
kind of with it because <laughs> I, 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 ca- I can't focus on two things at once and if I if I'm listening to music or podcast I'm listening to that but I I really enjoy producing lumber like this it's uh, it's very satisfying it can be hard it can be really tiring there's some <laughs> long days this was a long day um, but it's really satisfying it's um, it's neat it's it's fun and it's it's interesting and every log kind of possesses a little bit of uh, a little bit more treasure um, there's always always something to find in each log and trying to get the absolute best uh, amount the most best pieces of wood usable wood out of every log every stick every tree off the land that's grown here for you know 40 50 60 70 80 years um it's it's good it's it's a good process it's enjoyable it's hard it's really hard to build a house like this but it's also you know i know the lumber i know how solid it's going to be i know the quality of it i know where it comes from i know it's not going to rot unless i let it but anyway i uh yeah i just wanted to talk for a minute about the process of sawmilling and what it's like from inside that bright orange helmet so i'm gonna kind of spin that so the dirt doesn't get it but i think i can get some nice two by stock out of here for stairs or something two buys would be nice shame. A little tiny finish now. Ah, that stinks. You can judge the day by the sawdust pile. Coming up to the size of that pile of tires. God. Yeah, I'm getting tired. (laughs) All right, I'm not getting tired. I got tired. So yeah, it's a long day. Uh, I've got those two Eastern white pine trees cut down this morning before breakfast and pulled out and made into a pile. And now that pile is dwindled. 
down to that pile of sawdust that was back there. These little cuts here. Uh, there's one more decent log in there, and then I can get something out of this little guy here. But oh, these cher that cherry's gonna be nice. Um, but it's a long day of work. It's now dark, or not quite, obviously. But uh, there's the result of today. Um, let's see. I think there's eight. Yeah, there's eight for every layer. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, 56. There's 56 two by fours there, and they're legit two by fours. Look at the color on that. I don't know if you can see in this low light, but um, 56 two by fours, um, varying length. We got 13, 12, 10, nine, somewhere you know in in there that that range, and that's for the. Uh, that's for framing in the walls upstairs, uh, in between the bedroom and the office, uh, around the bathroom and the walk-in closet and the guest room. Um, so getting ahead on those, let them dry out a little bit and get light before I hoist them up there and frame in those walls. So, oh, big productive day, but boy, oh boy, I am looking forward to sitting by that wood stove and having a shower. Thanks for watching.